Let's look at a couple of additional examples where we practice the FOIL method. So you remember the FOIL method is used when you have a binomial, which is a polynomial with two terms, times specifically another binomial. So two terms here, z plus 3, times another two terms, z minus 3. We want to multiply these two polynomials together. So here we go. Uh, first of all, let, let me just write down F-O-I-L so we have something to look at. F stands for the first terms. The O stands for the outside terms. The I is the inside terms. And the L stands for the last terms. That's the order in which we multiply these four different terms here. So first up, we have the F. So Z times Z, those are your first terms. Z times Z is Z squared. Then we'll go to the outside two terms. z times negative 3 would make minus 3z. Then the i, the inside terms, you'd have 3 times z. So that's plus 3z. And then the l, the last, which would be 3 times negative 3, which would be negative 9. We take a quick look at our answer. We see if there's any like terms that can be combined or anything like that. And I, I do see a couple. Here we have a minus 3z and a plus 3z, and actually they'll, they'll actually cancel for this example because one's a positive and one's a negative. So actually our final answer would be z squared minus 9. All right, let's take a look at one last example. Um, this is a very typical problem, and it's actually one that students make a very common mistake with. Here we have the quantity x plus 5 all squared. Now the mistake students make a lot of times is they think that you can take a power and just distribute powers to both terms or, or more than one term in a polynomial, and that's just not correct. Um, powers do not distribute over addition and subtraction. If this had been x times 5 squared, yes, you could say x squared times 5 squared, but it's not. It's a plus. So what do we do? Well, think about just the, the fundamental definition of squaring something. When you square something, that means you take it, in this case x plus 5, and you multiply it by itself a total of two times. That's what it means to square something. And so when you write it like this, it makes perfectly good sense. And we, we clearly see that, it's, yes, it is in fact the FOIL method, but we would need to write it as a product of two binomials first. So anyways, once we have that done, we'll do first, outer, inner, last. x times x is x squared. The outer is x times 5. That'll be 5x. The inner would be 5 times x. That's also 5x. And 5 times 5 makes 25. And that's the L. That's the last. Take a quick look. See if there's any like terms. I do see a couple. I see plus 5x and plus 5 more, 5x more. So the final answer would be x squared. 5x and 5x make 10x. And then your constant of 25. So this is what we get when we take x plus 5 quantity squared. And notice um, if we had just squared the x and squared the 5, we would have just got x squared plus 25, which obviously would have been the incorrect answer. So anyways, just be careful with these types of problems. And uh, we hope these examples help you, help you better understand the FOIL method just a little bit better.